Hey there YouTube, Mountain Boy here. I just wanted to talk to you today about finding a good deal and a good knife. It's the holiday season and I'm sure many of you have been out there kind of looking online, looking for really cool knives at a good price and that you can kind of gift yourself and your friends and family. I just wanted to talk about kind of a number of ways I found the price is kind of year round. And so the first thing I'll talk about is kind of the holiday sales. They're pretty self-evident, so I won't go too much into it. I'll just kind of make the points that typically markup on a more expensive knife is typically between 30 and 50%. So when you're seeing a, a deal for like 30% off at the retailer level, it's kind of like, well, okay, maybe they're still making like 10% on it. For them, it's a lost leader, obviously just trying to get you onto the website and then you'll buy kind of more other items with, a, with more of a profit margin on them. One thing to kind of remember, and this is good to sign up for, your preferred company, be it Blade HQ, Smoky Mountain, Knife Center, et cetera, is they'll run specials year round. In fact, this Casbah, Benchmade Casbah, which I think retails, you know, like 200. And I think this came down on a sale from Blade HQ for like 120 in change. You know, it's a discontinued model, the color, they still have it in black, very tactical, but I have to admit, I really kind of like this color. You know, especially because I kind of feel like it's a good, you know, overstudy to to the, the bug out. Kind of the next next thing to think about is manufacturing websites. Like many manufacturers will have an option on their websites to sign up for their newsletter, their club. And then periodically you'll get emails saying, hey, we're having a special on this. This is a good example. Kershaw Link, really nice knife. Uh, all aluminum uh, scales, 20 CV steel, you know, really, really a nice knife. And I think this came down and I'm having trouble remembering exactly the price, but I think it was under $60. And this is a knife that on the website retails at $160. And yeah, they're on sale on the current Kershaw website, but nowhere near, you know, the in the 60 range that I pay for it. Although I will say this, on the uh, uh, Kershaw also has a Amazon web page, and on the Amazon web page right now, you can get this knife for like eighty five dollars. So it's really good to kind of know the web presence of what's out there. Sog, Gerber, a number of other companies also kind of do the same thing, where they'll run sales and specials. Uh, one thing I would kind of point is kind of combining those two elements of kind of joining the club. And also shopping the sales is a lot of times the club will come with coupons. Like when you sign up, you get 10% off. Oftentimes those coupons will stack on top of the sale price of the knife. So I, pur I purchased and ordered a, a SOG Flash retail about $85. Uh, it's on sale on the website for in the mid 40s. And then when I actually ordered it, I put in the code for the 10% and it took it off so i ended up paying like 37 dollars and change with free shipping you know for like a 85 dollar knife so uh, i really look forward to kind of seeing that knife and being able to kind of bring that to you so the next thing to kind of look for is what i call old stock and you know this is kind of an example of i bought this knife this is a uh, benchmade nitrous striker D2 assisted opening, uh, really a nice knife. And uh, I bought this at like like a little pew pew store that uh, had a little glass counter in the corner with knives. And quite frankly, I don't think they sold very many knives. And the most of the ones they did were, you know, kind of your, you know, more inexpensive models that people would get. But you know, this this was marked for $115. You can see here, that there's actually a second kind of price tag under here. I'm not really sure what it says, but it was, a, it, this knife was probably made about, I don't know, probably about 10, 15 years ago. And it probably sat in that stock case for seven or eight years. And in fact, this box was covered in dust. And, and I asked to look at it and then I even asked them, said, hey, could I get a little something off? They even gave me another like 10% off of this i think i paid just over a hundred dollars for this and i've seen this a number of times here's like another example now this is a blast in the past you can actually find the original nothing fancy video on this this is the sigtac 
and uh, and this is this was kind of another similar find where it it this knife they probably made it I think 2004 and I bought it again like five six years ago and I think I paid like seventy dollars for it you know and this is like super solid all aluminum construction has like a really nice lockout like good automatic action, maybe a bit slow, great jimping, nitride blade. In fact, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to that, that SOG flash is it has a very similar blade type. But it kind of pays to kind of go around, go to your local LGS store or go to like your little fi local fishing store. Oftentimes they don't track uh, what they have and they don't update the prices, you know, according to whatever the MSRP uh, is at that time and so you'll find boxes that have pricing that's like 10 years old so and especially on kind of higher end knives where it's a lot of money to people or maybe they're not familiar with it maybe it's not like you know as as recognizable as a bug out or something like that so anyway it's kind of fun to kind of go scrounging around shops like that the next option i would talk about is what i call the big box or the rei uh approach to to shopping and this is true for REI, LL Bean, maybe kind of Sierra trading also to a lesser extent, but you know, they'll, they'll have uh, either things are closing out, they'll have returns and then they'll have kind of spot sales, all of which to keep a lookout. Now, first of all, so REI has an REI outlet and, and they'll kind of move their merchandise from uh, their regular website onto their outlet website and they'll have a discount. And this Gerber principle is kind of a good example of that. You know, this retailed, I think it was $67. It was on the outlet for $42. Now that's not a huge savings, but when you consider that, you know, a couple times a year, REI will send out coupons for 20% off, usually 20% off for a single item in their main store and then 20% off it, their outlet so and i didn't do it but i could have gotten this knife with that 20 percent off and that would have dropped this knife in kind of into the low 30s uh you know which is which is a little more than half off the second way is so i think every rei has a little corner for returns this was a return this was a benchmade bushcrafter and you can kind of see here that, you know, it's perfect. There's not a mark on it, uh, you know, in terms of in terms of use or anything like that. And it even comes with like a little ticket where the, uh, the person who returned it and checked it in describes what's wrong with it. And what was wrong with this was it was too tactical looking. Now, admittedly, it's Portland, Oregon, so uh, I kind of can understand it, but it's kind of ironic. There's, uh, there's a lot more tactical knives out there. You can see here, it's got the little X on it, which REI puts on their, their returned item, so you can't re-warranty it, but I guess a little acetone would take that right off. This was $118, right? This is Benchmade MSRP of $300. Uh, usually you see it around $270. Uh, it was such a good deal. I'm like, all right, I already have one. I'll have a second one, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. You know, I might just, hang on to it, you know, inflation being inflation, it's, you know, better than money in the bank. Uh, or I just have a second knife that I can kind of, uh, you know, keep at my off grid place. Uh, or maybe that makes a great gift someday, right? I mean, imagine, you know, with your kid and they come of age and it's like, you know, here's like an amazing knife. Um, the third way with box stores is, uh, is keeping an eye out for little reductions, right? This is a, this is a, this is the bench made proper. I have to say that right. I always want to say prosper, proper. And uh, these retail for about $160. I don't think these sold very well. And I think when they did, they sold more in the green or gray micarta. This is the red, beautiful little knife. This is actually my daughter's knife. I bought this for her. And I have another one in the box for my other daughter. Uh, and this is their camping knife. And yeah, the idea is I wanted them to have like an heirloom quality knife that maybe when they're 30 and I'm gone, they'll look at this and go, you know, my dad gave me that. So anyway, so this was like $62. And 
I bought two of them and put it away. You know, if nothing else, again, kind of with inflation, you could always pull it out, uh, you know, put it up on a forum or on eBay and, uh, you know, better hedge against inflation than, than certainly my stock portfolio is. So anyway, that's uh, what you look for is, uh, you know, just as you're kind of looking at the counter, oftentimes you'll see like a little kind of handwritten note. Look for anything that's like a handwritten or colored sales tags. And oftentimes they'll have prices there where they just want to get rid of it, you know, especially for things where, like I think in this case, they discontinued that particular color. Okay, so the final thing I'll talk about is what I call the factory store. And I'll talk about three, three types of factory stores. One was Benchmade. So with Benchmade, you know, here's, here's my Osborne 940. Great knife, everybody knows this knife. And there's the factory store in, in Oregon City, Oregon. And I would just go in there just to go check out the knives. It's close at hand. You can go see the factory floor. You can get your knife sharpened. You know, it's it's if you're ever in Oregon, it's it's worth the trip. And and I don't know how I did it. I think somebody else was buying one, and they were selling these for sixty dollars. This I paid one hundred thirty-four dollars for. They were selling this, which is basically it's a Harley Davidson branded Osborne nine forty for $60. I think I bought like four or five of these and, and everybody close to me that Christmas got a 940, right? Yeah, maybe the skulls on it or the Harley Davidson's a bit obnoxious, but you know, it it's a great knife for a really great price. I haven't really seen anything like that there again, but what I have noticed is, especially if you kind of drop in around holidays, like Veterans Day is a big one, oftentimes they'll have like little specials that kind of pop up. So it's always worth kind of giving them a call or just kind of stop in. And, you know, if you're pleasantly surprised, you're pleasantly surprised. The Mecca of Kershaw is the uh, annual warehouse sale. And people sleep overnight outside to be able to go to this. And they sell not only Kershaw, CZ, their, uh, their culinary line, and it's kind of, it could be imperfections, it could be overstock, it could be discontinued, but fantastic prices. It really pays, especially if you're like a real aficionado of a certain brand or certain type of knife, is start your relationship with the company. Find out if they have a factory store. Find out if they have a pro deal. Sometimes they'll, if especially if you're Leo or if you're military or government, they'll have a program for you. And, uh, you know, get on their, get on their email lists. You know, they, they, I, I think they do a good job by their customers and, and they try to take care of them. And, you know, and I've certainly seen this, I think with SOG, I think with Kershaw, that's been my experience with them. So anyway, I hope this kind of helped. I'd love to hear if you, in the comments, if you want to put any other stories you have. And uh, thank you very much for watching and listening. Take care. Bye-bye.